So I'm up to putting the uh, condenser fan in now, giving it a good clean out and everything. So it looks like it's uh, pretty clean in there. So I'm gonna chuck the fan in. But um, yeah, as you saw, I had horns here, so I've got to make a new bracket for that. I don't know what's going on here, it's starting to crack, but um, yeah, it's yeah, not too good, but um, yeah, anyway. So I've got it out of the box, and uh, I'll show you what it is. So it's pretty much just a fan, so it sits in there, uh, bolts, bolts it up, uh, so they go into there, so they've got rubber on the bottom, go into there, and then it bolts into, I'm guessing one of these holes up here, well, right there I guess, is a tab behind there, so. So uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to find the um, the plug. So that's a factory plug. And it's, uh, it was just taped down there, so that's the one you need. So what you do, uh, just take the tape off it, and then before you put the plug in, get some of that, and then uh, just clean it out. Because, yeah, it's not covered, so it's going to be full of uh, dirt and just crap. So give it a clean out before you uh, put it all in, just to make sure it uh, works properly when you do it. So I've cleaned it all out and everything, so I'm just going to let it dry a bit longer. Uh, I've got a rag now, so I've got a bit of a clean and whatnot. A bit of dirt and crap come out of it, but it's uh, to be expected. I uh, might, might actually give it another spray and then blow it out a bit. And then whack the fan in. And then I've got to find a bolt to put in that. Put it on. Uh, it's not going to work right away. I've got to uh, get a little micro fuse that goes in there. So when I get it fused, I'll, uh, I'll show you what goes in there. So I'll put it in and I'll put that open and I'll just show you where it goes. And, um, yeah, now it's in. So put the, the rubbers down the bottom so it fits straight in. I just got to find a bolt put in there. That's it. No, another thing I ran into was uh, just that clamp there. So if you, you've got the forefront kit, uh, just make sure the clamps back a bit. Otherwise it doesn't fit. So I'll find a bolt now, chuck it in. And then do that up and cover tie that, and that's pretty much it. Alright, so I've got the uh, stainless box out. So, all this stuff here, I got it for, it was like, uh, there, there was a bit more in there, but I got it for 20 bucks at uh, Bunnings. So, it's pretty handy to have. You got all your nuts and your washers and a couple of different size bolts and stuff. So, yeah, so um, it's probably, you need a long one. So, probably that one, and I get. One of those little washers, and I'll, I'll put it on. So that's all it is, just that. And then in there, starting to tighten up. And then you just get your, your 10 mil, and you put it on, and you just tighten it up. It's got a rubber there, so you can put a bit of uh, pressure on it. Hopefully it's going. Feels like it is. So, yeah. Not too much, but um, enough to hold it. So that's moves a little bit, but maybe we can put a bracket from there to there. I guess maybe I should do that to just hold it a bit. But see how it goes. I guess it's uh, rubber mounted, so it shouldn't break or anything. Yeah, it's rubber mounted up there, so. So how that goes I guess. So I'll chuck the cable tire on, do that up, and then I'll show you where the fuse goes for it. Alright, so I opened up the uh, fuse panel now. Uh, in, inside of it tells you exactly every uh, fuse and what they do. So the one you're going to need is uh, fuse C. So I'll try, try and figure this out, I'm not too, too good with this, but pretty much, I think that's uh, C there, I think. Maybe, well it could be D, but guessing uh, that, that, that'll be C there so you uh, put a little micro freeze in there so I might have one of them so I'll go C and I'll chuck it on uh, and see if it works one of the good things about uh, driving monster trucks uh, you, you crush a lot of cars most of them are Japanese so I have a habit of uh, collecting all screws and stuff uh, out of the cars when we strip them so yeah, thankfully I uh, got a couple of these so yeah, I've got a Japanese, of course. So they, they come in handy. So I've got another box. Uh, it's full of these and fuses and just random nuts and bolts. It's a good thing to have, actually. Because what you'll do is you find it. And then you, you just find out where it goes. 
you just put it in, that's it. And then you just put your cover back on. Move that wire out of the way. Yeah, that's my volt gauge. Maybe the other way. There we go, we'll try this one. That's it, that's all you gotta do. So, I don't know how it works actually, so. Apparently you just turn it on and it should come on, but. Yeah, I don't know, so. Might, um, might try it and just see if it spins. And, uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, blow up on me. Yeah, that's the last thing I'm going to be doing today, fixing that failure. So, jump in now and see if it works. So, hopefully you can hear me. But, um, yeah, it, it, it works. So, I'm pretty happy with that. So, that's with the aircon on uh, full. And uh, it should kick in and kick out when it needs it. So, uh, the uh, motor slows down and it turns off. And when it, uh, when it gets a bit hot, it turns back off. So, I'll, uh, I'll turn it off now and I'll come back in a second. So, yeah, as you saw, it, uh, it was working pretty good. Nice and sturdy, so... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So that's about probably, well, it's taking about 15 minutes to do. So, pretty much all you need is a fan, uh, a little stainless bolt, and just a microfuse. So, yeah, it's an easy little mod, and hopefully the, uh, the air going through it helps on a uh, hot summer day. Because uh, the air con gets a bit... It, it doesn't blow as cold, of course, because you've got hot air going through it, but hopefully this helps. So I've got a mate of mine that uh, did the same mod on uh, his MN, and he said it works pretty good. So I, uh, when I got back from Perth a couple, well, a couple of weeks ago, I ordered it. Came pretty quick, and yeah, I put it in, and I'll just I'll see how it goes, really. So what I'm looking at now, um, yeah, I'll probably need to pull it back out to. Do the right the uh, inner cooler. There's not a big one going in, but yeah, it's uh, it's actually good to see it working. So I'm pretty happy with that. So if you want to do it yourself, uh, I'll I'll link everything down below what you need and where to get it. And uh, yeah, hopefully it helps. So if you haven't already, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.